comes this time each year Morphing between four solids. Face two vertex and vertex to face tackled at once. We first calculate the matching vertices on meshes two, three, and four for a face A in mesh one. We call Neville three times for each vertex on a face A to calculate its position along the curve for current time. Then we simply draw a face using those three vertices. Loop this for each and every face on Mesh 1 and we get a smooth animation of all faces of Mesh 1 disintegrating to vertices as they reach Mesh 4. We apply this algorithm on each mesh. For example, on Mesh B, the three nevels start with a matching vertex on face A, traveling through each vertex of the face on Mesh B and throughout a vertex on C and D. This allows for a face on each mesh to match a vertex on the other three. Uh, whereas linear interpolation for two shapes interpolates between just two edges and their respective two vertices for a set of four, uh, the crossing vectors that we use to form the quadrilateral moving between two edges that intersect However, with multiple shapes being involved, for each set of edges, we also take the quad normal that we get from taking the cross product of the intersecting vectors and search each extra mesh for a matching vertex. And once we have that vertex, instead of drawing straight lines to create our quadrilateral, we draw parabolas and interpolate along those using Neville's algorithm to draw the moving quadrilateral that fills in the spaces between the vertex face morphs. Here you can see the Minkowski sum between two solids. The green faces of the pyramid are sent to vertices on the horse and the red faces of the horse are sent to vertices on the pyramid but animated in reverse so that you see the entire objects moving together and then the blue edges travel um, matched between the edges of the pyramid and the edges of the course. The faces and vertices are matched on their normals. For each face the dot product of the face normal is taken with each vertice of the second solid, the horse. The greatest dot product defines the best match and the closest direction. Edges are matched in a similar fashion if the vector orthogonal to both edges dotted with each of four binormals is negative, then the edges are matched. The binormals are the vectors orthogonal to the edge in the planes of the edges incidental triangles, so they're within the triangle. We animate a parallelogram between the edges by sending both vertices of the first edge to both vertices of the second edge, giving us four points to draw a parallelogram.